Hello, everybody. Ross McCullough here, Carolina Realtor Ross in the Lake Norman area of Charlotte. Spring is upon us, and you know what that means? I'm super excited. Uh, a, the big golf events are coming up. Love it. Try to get to the Masters next week. Uh, but more importantly, boating season is just about here. Uh, if you live in the Lake Norman area or are going to be moving to the Lake Norman area, A, I want to hear from you so that I can help you make that move. But B, uh, if getting on the lake, this beautiful lake that's surrounding me right now is important to you and you are not going to live on the water or have a deeded boat slip, then great chance that you're going to be bringing your boat to the lake uh, by trailer. So what I'm going to do today is go over every single access point, three public access points that surround the lake uh, to determine which one will best fit where it is that you're going to be uh, calling home. We're going to get into that in just a few minutes, but before I do, I want to talk to everyone that is visiting my channel for the very first time, or if you're a repeat visitor, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like all the videos, comment if you can, give me feedback, uh, let me know if you have any questions, I'm always here to answer them and share them with family or friends that may be moving to the area or live in the area. Uh, love hearing feedback from locals as well, always gives me some uh, some great advice, so um, I, I love doing what I do, uh, communicate with people every single day, looking to move or relocate to the Lake Norman area. Helping them make that move is, is uh, uh, God, it's my life uh, since I left the golf business. So this is what I love to do, and I'd love to help you. Make sure you give me a call, days, nights, weekends, doesn't matter. Call, text, email, send up smoke signals. I don't care, but get in touch with me, reach out, ask some questions. Uh, we will figure out a game plan for you to get you down here and call Lake Norman home. And I look forward to helping you do so. So without further ado, let's jump on into the lake tour. All righty. So we will utilize Google Earth once again. You will see as we move the map to look at Lake Norman from south to north, what we're looking at there is the essentially the bottom of our screen, the northern part of Charlotte and the 485 Beltway. What we're going to do is talk about 10 access points. There are 10 points around the lake to get onto the lake uh, with free public access. We're going to start at the southern edge of the lake, which will service the Huntersville uh, and areas to the south, southwest, southeast of that at Blythe Landing. Blythe Landing is going to be off of Highway 73, again, just on the southeast edge of the lake. Wonderful spot. You'll notice as we look at the boat landings, how many ramps they have. That gives you a great indication of just how busy it is and how much traffic they can accommodate. Blythe Landing has, I believe, five spots uh, to, to get in and out, as well as the uh, loading slips. So get your boat in the water uh, as somebody's parking the truck, somebody else is bringing the boat around, putting it in the slip, able to get uh, kind of a great little pickup spot. So that is Blythe Landing and we will zoom out of there. Head to the next one. We're going to stay on the east side of the lake for this portion of the tour. It's where the majority of of the public landings are but again there is a public landing which fits everyone's needs and no matter where it is that you're coming from just a few minutes to the north by drive from there we have ramsey creek park and public boat launch cool thing about ramsey creek it's located in cornelius so it's going to service cornelius davidson maybe the southern edge of mooresville um, and areas east, Concord, Kannapolis, they will make their way over and utilize this or Blythe Landing to get their boat in the water. Now the park itself has a unique characteristic you see right here on the map. It does have a public beach right next door to that and there's only a couple of those on the lake. Lake Norman State Park has another one. So here we see four boat ramps where we can get uh, boats in the water so it can accommodate a fair amount of traffic. Uh, there are some boats right there coming in and out right across the lake. Of course, we've got uh, some big homes. You'll see that all throughout the tour. So again, that's going to service areas east and southeast of the lake. From there, we will head to the north. 
And as we head to the north, what you'll see, we're going to make our way up through Cornelius, past Davidson, and we will get up to Mooresville. Now, what you see to the left-hand side of the screen there coming down is the Brawley Peninsula. Brawley School Road heads down the Brawley Peninsula. That is that main yellow line that you see coming down. What you see, there are not many public boat launches there. Uh, Mooresville is large, uh, but you will see why in a few minutes that is the case. So we will move over and the public boat launch, which services the Brawley Peninsula, is going to be the Hager Creek public access point out there um, on the main channel. So the land that you're seeing across the lake, that's Denver. That's the west side of the lake already. It's just uh, just happens to be where it is. But you see four slots there where boats can be put in. So again, um, with the Raleigh Peninsula being quite populated, it is a very popular place to put a boat in the water. Um, that is located through the neighborhood of the farms. So in order to access that, you will get through the farms, which is close to the point. I've discussed that in other videos as well. We will head to the north from there to the main portion of Mooresville, so to speak, Highway 150, that main road that cuts east-west. Now, we are in the central portion of the lake as we make our way up here. So there are two very popular boat landings, which you can get your boat in the water, whether you're coming from the west side of the lake or the east side of the lake. The first one that we'll touch on is Queen's Landing and the McCrary Creek Public Access Point. You do see four slots there of which you can put your boat in the water in a good sized parking lot, plenty of parking. Um, but as busy as that area is, only a half a mile away, we have another public access point. So uh, Queen's Landing will service areas essentially central to Mooresville, east all the way over to say Salisbury, um, Kannapolis, Concord, as I mentioned before. And here we have Pinnacle Point access area. So this is going to service essentially areas west and east of the lake, same as Queen's Landing, of course. So whether you're coming from Mooresville, Terrell, which is right across the lake, Cheryl's Ford, maybe even Denver, depending upon uh, maybe you're meeting some friends on the Mooresville side or given where this is, right next to restaurants, Apps and Taps, Toucans, uh, the Blue Parrot, lots of fun to be had right there. So a key point to potentially get your boat in the water right there. As we spin around, we are going to, again, face to the north, make our way back over into um, kind of the centrally located area of Mooresville and head north up Perth Road. Perth Road is going to take us up to the northern portions of Mooresville. Uh, and before we get to Troutman, another key access point is the Stumpy Creek Boat Landing and Park right there. Uh, beautiful park, tons of soccer fields. Uh, baseball fields for the kids, tons of uh, area for them to play. But for public access, this will service essentially the northern parts of Mooresville and east, as well as up to the southern edges of Troutman. It's going to be two boat ramps there. Uh, not a lot of access. In fact, this one is unique. It is run by Iredell County. It's the only one by run by Iredell County. So it has a $2 uh $2 access fee that is charged. However, there's nobody there manning the station. You're on, uh, you're on your own honor with that. Of course, it's just $2. So help them up keep the park. As we head north, you see this large green area. That is Lake Norman State Park. They have a public access there as well, as you can see that vehicle heading to it. So, so much to do in Lake Norman State Park. Uh, whether you're camping or otherwise, you can put your boat in here. There are a couple of ramps to get your boat in there. Uh, utilize the northern and middle portion of the lake. Uh, again, whether it's recreationally or getting out there and doing some fishing. Um, but a great area to spend the day. Maybe, maybe uh, the guys get out and do some fishing. Mom and the kids, they are going to do some hiking, uh, playing at the beach and having some fun. And as we make our way north from there, we will get to the northernmost boat ramp, boat launch area, 
as well as the first one that we will visit on the west hand side of the lake. This is the Long Island Access Area. So essentially, if you're going to put your boat in, in the Long Island area, Catawba, the northern portion of Sherrill's Ford, and anywhere to the north or northwest of the lake, maybe up towards Hickory, uh, this is where you will put your boat in. You can see the marina right there. We will go over all of the marinas in another video. From there, we will slowly make our way back down to the south. We're going to refocus the map, make sure that we understand exactly where it is that we are at all times. So right now, we are looking a little bit to the northwest. We're going to refocus that in a moment and make sure that the map is heading down to the north. Excuse me, um, due north, so that you understand where it is that we're looking. I personally wish Google didn't have these stitched images where everything looks a little bit different from, uh, say, daylight to dark uh, when you cross the bridge, but it is what it is. So we are back down in Mooresville as we're looking down right now, and there we have turned to the north. That is Highway 150 coming down. We are heading south on the main channel of the lake. Again, there is Hager Creek once again. As we get down into the Denver area, that is the west side of the lake. So Cheryl's Ford is right around 150 and north. Denver is everything south of 150. We will get to the first access point there, which will service all of Denver. Uh, that is going to be the main area, unless you are close to 150 getting over to Pinnacle Point. The Little Creek access area couple of boat ramps there. Again, uh, not going to be overly uh, overly inundated with boaters. So um, all of this will have, you know, they, what they've done is strategically placed these not only all around the lake so that you're, you're not dealing with a tremendous amount of traffic, but as you see, all of these boat ramps go into large open areas of water. So it's quick access to the main channel to head north-south on the lake. Maybe you want to make a day down in Cornelius uh, or make your way all the way up to the north and uh, check out some areas up there. There's a great cove with a rope swing that uh, I love going to up in Cheryl's Ford. All right, we will spin us back around again and make sure we're looking north-south. We will head south now to our final area. This is going to be the Beatty's Ford Park and Public Lake Access. Uh, you'll also see some pretty stunning homes out here, but that's not shocking. Uh, there are some phenomenal areas. But Beatty's Ford Park and Lake Access will essentially be servicing, uh, again, that southern portion of Denver uh, west to Lincolnton and areas west-southwest of Lake Norman. So if you're coming up from Gastonia, uh, somewhere in, in that region, Mount Holly, you're going to come up and likely either utilize this, the Beatty's Ford access area, or the Blythe Landing. Again, the southern areas of the lake. And that will wrap it up. Those were 10 quick areas. Um, I will have a map that I will put in the comments, uh, or excuse me, the description down below that will show all of these. But as we zoom out, what we're going to do is take one more overall view now that you see every pinpoint location on the map. As we zoom out, we will see all 10 again. So again, Blythe Landing, that southernmost, um, heading all the way up to Long Bay, which is close to the Hickory and Statesville area, and then swinging back down on the west-hand side through Denver, so we have 10 access points. Two are going to be the most popular, well, three, uh, Blythe Landing as well as Pinnacle, Pinnacle Point and Queens Landing because of their central locations and proximity to the population. All right, everybody, that wraps up uh, the lake tour and showing you where every public access point is located. Um, all around the lake, basically anywhere that you live in the Lake Norman and surrounding areas, uh, you can find quick access to get your boat or jet ski or watercraft out on the water. Um, so if you're going to be moving to this, uh, this area, 
we call home Lake Norman, North Carolina, you got to reach out to me. Let me know uh, what it is that you're looking for. What is bringing you here? Um, all of these factors matter. Um, and I need to know that. Give me some details. Shoot me a text, phone call, email. I talk to people all the time looking to move to the area. And uh, it, it's the highlight of my day every time the phone buzzes or an email comes in. Uh, love talking about the area and helping people make their way here. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, like I said before, uh, make sure you hit that like, the like button. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you get alerted anytime uh, I put a new video out, I'm trying to crank them out at least one a week. And if you know anybody looking to move to the area, share the video with them. Share all the videos with them. Please get the word out. Um, I would love to help each and every person I can make the move to our area. It is beautiful here and you will see that and it uh, fits so many different lifestyles. So anyway, I look forward to hearing from you and until next time, take care and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.